Hi, this is Dr. Parker again. As we continue our series on why do I still have symptoms of hypothyroidism when my lab tests are normal and I'm still on or may be on uh, replacement therapy for the thyroid, the hormone for that, yet I still have symptoms of hypothyroidism. So when the, the next thing I want to talk about that can be a contributing factor to having a poor functioning thyroid is having a problem with the neurotransmitter dopamine. Now, dopamine impacts the, the hypothalamic pituitary axis. That hypothalamic pituitary communicates to the thyroid it, by releasing thyroid stimulating hormone. Dopamine has an impact on this. And most people that are having symptoms of having dopamine problems can also be having problems related to their thyroid. And most of the doctors that are treating your thyroid aren't testing for any of this or aren't treating for any of this. The only thing they're measuring is your TSH and maybe the total T4. Your TSH reflection and measuring that is just a reflection of are they giving you hormones, do you need more, do you need less, and they're not really addressing the cause. So when I look at things for dopamine, we look to see, are you having a problem with dopamine? And I do that with a symptom survey. I have a survey sheet because you can't directly measure neurotransmitters in the brain. And I also look at your thyroid at labs under a functional lab. So I look at it narrower than what they're looking at so that we can see, are you truly functioning at a good physiologic level versus a standardized test compared to all the sick people in the community? <coughs> When we look at your survey for, the, for dopamine sufficiency, we're looking to see, are you having problems in completing tasks? Are you having problems staying on track? Do you have feelings of worthlessness? Those are common things associated with poor levels of dopamine. You take that problem along with the symptoms of thyroid, poor libido, constipation, hair falling out, fatigue. If you take all those symptoms, and if you try to not address your, you as a whole, but just work on one part of the pu puzzle, you'll never fix the problem. And that's what I see when I treat people from a functional perspective. So again, when I treat people for deficiencies, we definitely, in, in neurotransmitters, we definitely use symptom surveys, and we put people on supplementation to work on precursors for those needed neurotransmitters versus just putting on something that like a reuptake inhibitor or things like that. That way you can start working on fixing the underlying cause and having access to the base nutrition that you need to develop good neurotransmitters. And part of neurotransmitter development, we also work on gut function so that people really start improving their health. One big thing that really really uh, affects your ability to make neurotransmitter dopamine is blood sugar regulation. Probably the biggest thing I'll harp on with people as I start working with them is we start working on blood sugar regulation. Regulated fuel for your nervous system to run itself, run the neuroendocrine system, run your body down to the cellular level is critical. And with the foods we have in our society and the way we eat, we definitely have problems with blood sugar regulation, whether it's big swings in it, too much, or not enough. So as we talk, you'll know more about how I address blood sugar regulation. In the next one in the series coming up, we're going to talk more about why do I still have symptoms of hypothyroidism, even though I might be on a replacement hormone or my lab tests are normal.